Well, it's time now to take a look at what's happening in the world of arts and culture. And I'm joined in the studio by Olivia salazar Winsby. Olivia, hello. Hi. Now, we're starting with a new photography exhibition here in Paris, which walks a fine line between journalism and fine art. Yeah, this photographer, Susan Maceless, it's difficult to say whether she's a photojournalist or an artist because she delves into documentary work and also fine art photography as well. She's been associated with the Magnum Agency since the mid-1970s, and that's where this exhibition begins in the streets of New York's Little Italy, a series of portraits of young children who she follows and she sees them grow up. And then her career takes her much further afield to Nicaragua. You can see there in the late 1970s and 80s, following the Sandinista uprising, that shot, Molotov Man, is, has become iconic since. And what's great in the show is they actually meet up with that man in the photo years later and talk about the symbolic value the picture went to take on. She also built up an extraordinary body of work in Kurdistan in the 1990s mainly visiting villages that were massacred uh, in Iraqi Kurdistan at the time. That project is very touching. Some of it's quite harrowing, but it does make an interesting use of archive photography, film footage. So it's a very different approach, not necessarily journalism nor documentary. I'd call it more an anthropologist with an artistic eye. She's a very thought-provoking artist, quite a, a one-off, who's still making some very interesting, important work today. And that show's called Mediations, and it's on at the Jeune Pomme Gallery here in Paris until May. All right. Next, you've got some music for us, and this is a homegrown band, uh, French pop by the name of Holidays, not to be confused with Halliday. <laughs> no, not quite. A bit younger. The two people behind this group, Elise Presse and Sébastien Delage, started off covering other people's songs, things like vintage French pop from Véronique Sanson, rap from MC Solar, and then they started writing their own material, which seemed to work out very well, because France 24's uh, Ludovic de Foucault and Shona Bhattacharya caught up with them at the Point Ephemère, where they were giving a concert. Tu peux, tu peux, tu peux éteindre la lumière. Tu peux danser tant que tu veux. The notes are somber, full of a melancholy that resonates with the audience. A darkness, the duo says, that renders the light that much brighter. Yes, our lyrics are quite sad, even with the lighter and more joyful songs, but it feels good. The bad times bring out the happy moments. There's a fragility to the music embodied by haunting vocals. I don't pay too much attention. I don't control my voice. I just let it out, and sometimes it goes in all directions, without me really controlling it or anything. Holidays have put out three EPs so far. The latest one came out mid-January. The band signed with a major label and will release an album this year. In the meantime, it's concentrating on creating captivating videos. Nowadays, people consume music mainly on their smartphones, on YouTube or Facebook. If we don't have strong and powerful visuals, people will overlook it and miss the music. So we give our fans everything they need. Like their name, Holidays wants to take their listeners on a relaxing voyage. The duo hopes it's the beginning of a long journey. And finally, you've been checking out a theatrical production here in Paris, a 19th century classic, Peer Gint, revisited with a rock and roll edge. Yeah, when I heard about this production, I thought it might be a gimmick, trying to get people into the theatre to see a 19th century play by Henrik Ibsen that we might consider a bit dusty these days. But actually, when you think about the central character of Peer Gint, Peer Gint himself, head in the clouds, misunderstood genius who embarks on these poetic flights of fancy, who's really unpredictable, this kind of sounds a bit like a contemporary temporary rock star, I thought. So director Irina Brooke ran with that idea and has done this edgy new version and she managed to get a real life rock star, Iggy Pop no less, to write two original songs for this production. Uh, the version's performed in English with a multinational, multilingual, multi-talented cast who play a lot of music on set as well. Here's a little taste of the production. Does anyone here remember a guy called Peer Gint? <laughs> Peer Gint. He left the village over 30 years ago. What kind of man was he?
So a very experimental, a very contemporary uh, version of Pierre Gint. If you're into that, you can catch it at the Bouffe du Nord Theatre in Paris this weekend. Olivia Salzer, thank you very much.